another day, another makeup free trip to the beach. Ollie's on holidays this week, so it's a Thursday and we're just casually going to the beach up on the French Riviera. I found this beach that is like 15 minutes drive away from us that has been rated as one of the most beautiful beaches on Côte d'Azur and we're off there right now. And here we are, we're in Antibes. How beautiful is that? Mountains and view Antibes there, it's gorgeous. And this beach is called Plage du Ponte. This is not the one that's been rated as one of the best beaches in Côte d'Azur. The one of the best beaches is down there, called Plage de la Salis, I think. And we're gonna try it today, or we might stay here at this beach, Ponte, where we've been so many times. We are actually super lucky that we have this luxury of arriving early. We're here at like 8.30 and you can see it's already pretty busy. It's gonna get crazy busy even on a weekday because it's summer holidays, but it's, it's a beautiful place to be. to this beach called Plage du Ponte many many times as I said we're very lucky that we have the opportunity to come early park early because it gets really busy and we've never actually checked out that most beautiful beach called Plage de la Salis and we decided to stay at Ponte like we usually do and I'm gonna check out the Salis on my own and here you can rent little boats and paddle boats and kayaks. It looks really fun. I want to try it one day. This is the access to the private beach and for the public it's further down. There's plenty of restaurants where you can eat in or take out. It's closed now because it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> we just arrived. No, it's nine. I'm kidding. Handy plage. It's pretty cool. And here we go, Plage de la Salis. Oh, that's sand. And there's plenty of private beaches in this area of Antibes, Joan les Pins. This one is public, and there's a lot of public beaches as well. Super nice. Nice views on. Cap d'Antibes, beautiful views on Bio Antibes, beautiful mountains, gorgeous. So I don't know, I quite like the beach where we usually stay, Ponte. This one is just as nice, but it's been rated as one of the most beautiful beaches on Côte d'Azur. I think people are sleeping on Plage du Ponte. I'm going back. I mentioned there are private beaches and public beaches here in Antibes, in Nice and Cannes as well. And we've actually had an amazing opportunity to rest at one of the private beaches here. Uh, we met some lovely friends from Norway and they come here every year and they have a spot in at one of the private beaches in Antibes at Cap d'Antibes. So it's down south at the very very end of Antibes. And uh, it, it was really nice, <laughs> it was really lovely. And from what I remember I think it's about 30 euros per bed, per lounge chair. And you get the service, you get like prime spots right by the sea, it's really nice. We had a great time, but we also have a great time at the public beaches. I have no problems, like we, if we arrive early, we have no problems finding a spot and parking and all that. So yeah, we enjoy it either way <laughs> because it's really beautiful. And the private beaches are right next to public beaches. So it's not like you're missing out on some beautiful, beautiful areas. So yeah, private, public, they're all good. And right now, whilst Ollie's watching the kids somewhere there, <laughs> I will take this opportunity 
to have some me time and go take some photos of this beautiful area. I'll go a bit further down there and I'll show you what I come up with. And how beautiful that's Plage du Pontei and de la Salises past this rocky area. And there's a private beach here too, if that's what you're into. It's on a beautiful pier there. Lovely. And I'm headed past these trees because there's an amazing view of Antim from there. And just slightly away from that beautiful beach, you cannot swim in this area or fish. I understand this French. <laughs> because look at those rocks, they're intense very rugged area just away from a beautiful sandy beach but it looks amazing over here what a beautiful area to go for a run go for a walk it's just beautiful the palm trees the views it's stunning i love this area but if you're new here i just wanted to mention that my family and i have just recently relocated here to the Antibes area. If you're from the area, let me know. Maybe I'll make some new friends. I haven't found any many friends yet. Just waiting for the school to start for the kids and maybe I'll meet with some parents and get some more insider information that I'm new here. So I'm kind of still feels like I'm on holiday, but this is home now. This is pretty crazy. This is my last spot for my photo walk and I'm about to head back to spend the rest of the morning with my family over there. So that's Plage du Pontet. Et par là, c'est Plage de la Salis. Absolutely stunning area. I'm not sure what's going on with those rocks there. It doesn't look like it's just naturally been put up there. I don't know. I actually need to look into it because it looks like somebody actually put them up there if you look closer. But imagine just having a boat in this area. Or going on a paddleboard. I think it might be a bit too windy today for a paddleboard, but it's just wow. Beautiful. That's the center of Antibes where all the restaurants, all the beautiful little shops and tourists are. <laughs> but we love it nonetheless because we are still tourists here as well. But we have only about two weeks left of summer holidays and then every weekend we can go and explore without the crowds. I dropped off my big photo camera and the car because my bag was carrying the camera and the lenses like working double time <laughs> it was so heavy but just to give you an idea I'm back at Plage du Ponte and that's how busy it is and I've been away for maybe 40 minutes for a walk with my camera it's busy and it's not the end it's just the beginning it's gonna get so much busier last time we were here was on Monday, it's Thursday today. I think Monday or Tuesday. You were so busy. It's crazy. That's my fam chilling there. We had nobody here. This, this whole area was free. But we're still right by the water because we arrived early. And now it's time to chill with the view. It's stunning. So as we live in a wonderful place like Antibes or around Antibes, we don't live in Antibes but in the area. We've um, bought a lot of stuff for the beach so we have like a lot of floaties for the kids and a buddy board for Tessa that we recently bought and forgot at home today so she's a bit devastated. Uh, we got this cool sheet that is massive and we bought it like on one of the beaches. I think we got it at Paul Climo. You can watch that video up here. It was beautiful and there are people just walking around selling this kind of stuff and it's really nice. It's like uh, linen stuff that you just like shake off all the sand and it's gone. It's really good. We got a bunch of like big towels, hats for the kids, all the SPF and umbrella. 
very recently and we're very happy because it's been quite hot in the month of July and August so we need something like this especially if we come to the beach for like five six hours um, when it gets really hot around midday we don't have to leave for the kids we can just stay and the kids can even nap uh, but if you rent a lounge chair at one of the private beaches you get all of that already for you um, so yeah it's really your choice what kind of holidays or in our situation life you're into so currently we're at a public beach with all of our stuff and I have to say it's absolutely stunning like this is all public beach up to there that's private beach and we pretty much get the same views and the same sand and it's just wonderful you just need to bring a lot of stuff with you like all of that <laughs> but if you don't take your food with you there are some cafes down there where you can grab food to go and we found that for us it's actually not something we want to do because when it's hot like this we don't really get hungry so we just get snacks with us and that's enough for all of us it's been a couple of hours since we arrived it's 12 now and that's how busy it is it's very busy and i'm just so glad we have the umbrella because it's also very very hot and when we arrived at the, in the morning the water was a little bit chilly so you just kind of go in stay there for like five ten minutes and come out refreshed but you didn't really feel like staying in but right now the sea is the place to be it's so hot it's beautiful and it's not a cloud inside it's really nice and we're back home now and i forgot to wrap up the video because <laughs> we were just enjoying ourselves we usually stay at that beach between 9 a.m and 2 p.m because i think there's a limit of five hours at that car park and we paid five euros to park there for five hours so i think it's really really decent and we left at two o'clock um got all of our stuff swung by Boulangerie Ange um, nearby and got two pizzas for 17 euros just had a very very late lunch and yeah just gonna chill for the rest of the day it's a really fun morning activity and it doesn't take the whole day for us and by two o'clock I think we're all kind of it had enough of swimming and tanning and it gets really really hot so we really enjoy doing it this way and yeah we stayed the whole morning at Plage du Ponte it's I want to say it's our favorite in the area for sure because of the sandy beach warm water and the view on Antibes it's just beautiful and you can see the mountains as well so it's just yeah I, I love that beach <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for this video give it a big like if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all again next time